One of the great things about Google Apps is the ability to install freely available Google Chrome extensions. These are small pieces of software that you can download and run within Google Chrome that will extend or enhance the capabilities of the existing Google Apps. And Google Meet is no different. There are a variety of extensions that third-party developers have created to run alongside Google Meet that add features that are not already built in. To access and explore these different extensions, head over to the Chrome Web Store. In the search bar, simply search for Google Meet. Click on More Extensions to see the full list. Here you'll see a variety of available extensions, which you can install easily by clicking on Add to Chrome. Let's take a look at some of the extensions that you can use within Google Meet. The first extension we're going to talk about is called Google Meet Push to Talk. This extension adds simple functionality to Google Meet that allows you to use your spacebar to control whether or not you are muted. Right now, my microphone is not muted, and I can tell that because I see the animation around my avatar in the middle of the screen. It's recognizing that I'm speaking. Normally, in order to mute myself, I'd have to click on the microphone icon at the bottom of the screen. Let's do that now. Here, notice that while I'm talking, there is no animation, and it's telling me that my microphone is turned off. I could use this button to mute and unmute myself during a conversation, but many of the other popular video chat apps, including Zoom, add the functionality to use the space bar to control this, as many people find that easier. So what I'm going to do is hold down my spacebar right now and let's watch as my microphone becomes unmuted. I'm holding it down and I'm speaking and you can see my microphone is active. And now I'll let go and I am muted once again. It's a simple extension, but it makes life a lot easier. The next extension we'll look at is called Google Meet Classroom Extension. This adds some nice functionality to Google Meet in the form of a built-in whiteboard. You can access this whiteboard on the bottom of the screen by clicking on Whiteboard. It will turn your screen white and allow you to draw right on top. You have a variety of colors and you can change the thickness of the pen itself. When you're done, simply click the X to close it. Next up is Visual Effects for Google Meet. This allows you to add effects to your camera. These include inverting the colors, blurring your image, adding an interesting cube or pixelation effect, increasing the contrast, freezing your image, and even some silly things like adding sunglasses or text to your screen. You can also add bubbles, and it includes a green screen effect similar to what you have in Zoom. Keep in mind, though, this only works if you actually have a green screen as your background. Otherwise, it won't work. Next up is Google Meet Party Button. This is kind of a silly little thing, but might be fun for use in the classroom. This adds a small button to the top of your screen that adds an animated confetti effect right over your screen. If you feel the need to celebrate within a Google Meet class, this is a nice little extension to have installed. The final one to look at allows you to take attendance of all participants, and it's called Meet Attendance. The way you use this is simple. If you just click on the user list at the top, you'll see this icon right here. This icon allows you to send to a Google spreadsheet a list of all of the active participants within this Meet. Let's do it now. Here you can see the spreadsheet that's been generated by this extension. It tells you timestamps, links to the Google Meet, and a list of participants at different times. If I come back later on and we have more participants, I can click that icon one more time and it would add a new column with additional participants. While there are a variety of other extensions available in the Chrome Web Store, these are the ones that I found to be the most stable, functional, and add features that you might actually want to use during a Google Meet session but new extensions are being published on a regular basis, so be sure to check back and see what's available.